Hello, who's on today? How are we all doing? Hope we ain't all fried to death. Um, five people watching, but is the conversation thing working? That's always what's worrying me. Is the chat working? Be back in a sec. Sorry about that, just had to chat, just to talk to someone, hey Era42, how you doing? The chat is broken, nothing to see here. <laughs> don't worry me, don't worry me, <laughs> Retro Master, how you doing? Hello Mark, um, thank God the chat's working, I don't know, you what, got a bit worried there. Ah, oh, so... Who's enjoying the heat? I'm not. Oh, I'm bloody boiling. <laughs> if you can hear the fact I've got the fan on flat out, that's not going to. I'm not going to turn that off for a long while. Uh, way too hot outside. Way too hot. I wasn't. I wasn't sure if I was going to be doing a stream today because I'm not. I wasn't sure if it was going to be out or not. It's doing. What's doing your head in the, the the sun? Yes, same here. It's a lot cooler indoors than it is outside. Believe me. Yeah, it's better. I've noticed that it's better to keep the keep the windows and doors shut. And I've got my all I've got is my fan. I even keep the block. I've even got my blinds closed just to keep the heat. But. But it's not, it says it's 30 degrees. It's no way as hot it was as it was last year when it was about 30 degrees. It just seemed hotter then. I think because we got a bit of a breeze, so it's not as bad. But it's, I don't like the heat. No, I didn't see storms here. Never. Yeah, it's all closed. Don't even open. My, I don't even open my window. Obviously, because now we get a lot of flies and shit. All the little flies and fucking gets into the house. Really p pisses me off. Um, hello, Neil Desperandum. How you doing, mate? Yeah, so I've got my windows. My doors all closed. And I've got the foot and I've got the fan on, blowing in my face, full pelt. <laughs> yeah, but the good thing when I was living in America, um, and they were a lot more prepared over there. Um, like you have to screen doors so you can't, so the bugs can't get in and. Obviously, if it gets really hot, you you got it. They got the air conditioning they put in the windows, so they are a lot more prepared over there than we are. Yeah. So, hello, DVD. How you doing, mate? Mark Blaster. How you doing? So, yeah. Some. I played, I did review some games today, oh god, it was unbearable. I had, because I have to take the, I have to turn the fan off to review games, otherwise you're just going to get the wind. It's just, well I switched the fan off for about five minutes, it was bloody boiling, it was bloody unbearable trying to review games. Oh, they are nil day they are oh, just absolutely just it could be hot as hot as it is outside if you're in a nice air conditioned room really nice believe me i do the, i do miss that about america is the air conditioning Oh, 
I wasn't actually sure who's going to be on tonight. I thought you'll all be out enjoying the weather, so I thought I would take a chance. I, even I thought I wasn't even sure if I was going to be doing a stream tonight. I wasn't even sure because I'm not, I was might have been out, but I didn't go out in the end. Uh, I stayed there, might as well do a stream. But I might not play as many games today because I'm really not in the mood to play games. So I might do an hour's worth of games then go on to the quiz how's that with everyone how's that with everyone you know I thought I'd ask you first <coughs> finish college so I'll continue with more sibling. oh good oh good hope hope everything goes well at college for you <laughs> Walmart, yeah. Oh, it's just like I remember going into Walmart. Wow, just <laughs> used to be nice and cool in there. Massive air conditioners. Oh yeah, days of Walmart. Sex spot episodes. Oh, I'll just let you know, DVD. Not DVD, sorry. Classics won't be on tonight probably. I think he's. I think he's got other plans. He told me in a video, so just to let you know he won't be on tonight, probably. <laughs> yeah, but fortunately it cools. <laughs> excuse me, it cools down. It cools down from tomorrow, so I think this is just a one day, the, the hottest day compared to last year. Bloody hell, it was literally like this every single day for about three months. So I'm much rather I'm, I'm much enjoying it this year than last year. Hello, Clansman, how are you doing? Yeah, we're all a bit too hot, mate. <laughs> but fortunately, it cools down tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, it's interesting. Amiga Bang, how you doing? <laughs> You're missing having a car. Yeah, if you've got the air conditioning on in your car, that, I'll bet that's nice. Tell you what, this this is the day when you need a nice cool beer. Believe me. <laughs> Do you need a nice cool? I'm going to have a nice cool beer soon, so don't you worry about that. Um, when when we start doing the quizzes, I'm going to. That's why I might do a quiz. Start the quizzes a bit earlier tonight, because so I can have a drink. <laughs> it's too hot to be not drinking. <laughs> <coughs> So we'll say about maybe about eight o'clock we'll start the quiz. And I can have a drink. Yes. <laughs> no, get a beer. That do that'll cool you down. <laughs> so 
down well I like it I mean sitting down thing <laughs> Yeah, it's a bloody hot day, you can just take it easy. <laughs> Little puff, oh god. <laughs> No, I'm not, uh, I don't really suffer from it, sometimes, it depends, sometimes I get the cold here and there, but not all the time. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, we all, Commodore 64 is awesome. My mate had one, that was the reason why I wanted to buy one. Okay. So who wants to request the first game of the evening? Usually Nicholas is saying, play this, play this, play this, play this, play this, play this, play this. Been pretty quiet. <laughs> hmm. Top Gun on the NES. And Amiga Bang, not Amiga Bang. <laughs> Bloody DVD, I'm getting confused. Outrun, Retro Master, what's out? Well, we'll play Top Gun on the NES first, then we'll play where they're all coming now. Actually we've got two for the NES. Rushing us out. Let's play the NES ones first. Let's put that over there. Hopefully I won't have any controller issues today because I knew what the, I found out what the problem was. Oh speak of the devil here he is look straight in there with a the game straight away. Nicholas, I'm only playing games up till 8 o'clock today because I'm not really in the mood and I'm too hot. So I'm only playing games up to 8 o'clock. Then we're going on to the quizzes. Right, so first things first. Let's stick to the NES. There we go, it's top gun. Right, okay. We'll start key. Alright, let's see what this is. Might be interested on the NES. Alright, come on. Can we play it? Mission 1. I know I need a... That's why I'm starting the quizzes off at 8, because then I can start drinking my Carlsberg. Because I'm not really in the mood to be playing games in this seat. <laughs> really not. <laughs> Even though I've got the fan on full blast, I'm still not in the mood, real mood to play games. Right, come on, so where do we take off then? Oh, we are taking off. So why not you control the plane? I oh, don't tell them my controls are messed up, no. Ready? Oh, right, okay. I will have a beer, but I want to 
don't want to don't want to play games and play have a beer. I will never drink it. <laughs> Let it go warm. Well, this is completely different than the Top Gun I played on the Commodore 64. This is a flight simulator, sort of. So button one, button two. Oh, there's something coming up from behind. I don't get as far, I don't know if I'm going to get as far as landing the plane. I mean it seems alright. Oh, what's that? Danger, 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 danger. Oh, that's close. Alright, take care, uh, Mark. Hope to see you soon. Alright, okay. I mean, it's alright, this. Okay, um, don't seem to be a lot of variant going on. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, that's alright. Let's, let's have a look at what the whole shit I've been blown up. Let's have a look. Let's the next one on the list. Oh, Super Mario. Oh, they're crap. <laughs> right, let's try a rushing attack on the NES, as we're on the root NES. Have I got it? Rushing attack, yes I have. Right, okay. What's this? What's going on here? This looks like, um... Oh, what's going on? Oh, what's this game remind me of? Come on, let's get on with it. <sighs> Come on. What was this on the Commodore 64 and the eight other 8 bit systems? Is it Green Bay Ray? up to jump, which is weird for a Nintendo game. That's very weird for a Nintendo game for up to jump. Yeah, Green Bow, I thought it was. I am not, because I'm reviewing that for you. Um, I'm not playing. I'm not playing that because I'm reviewing that for you. And as if I, as because I haven't had a lot of requests, I'm going to review the other game for you as well. But don't make it an habit. No, and I don't want to either. I think I might have played a version of it, but nah. Yes. 
it's all right. I think it's a little bit easier than Green Beret, to be honest with you. But this is not a bad version. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely easier to play. Let's put it that way. I bet they have things. I don't know if I'm no. Ah shit! I ever played three Microsoft 3D movies where you can make your own movies with actors, props. No, I've never played that. Yeah, I think that's a bit weird having uppers jump on this. It's probably the only gripe I have with this game. So that's a bit weird. But the other button don't even do nothing. Unless you can get a gun or something. I see you laying there, you Oh, is that a Oh, hang on. What's this? Oh, I can't bloody move. Game over. Tell you what, that wasn't a bad game. That wasn't bad on them. I much prefer that to Green Beret. Right, oh, what's next on the list? Uh, Russian Attack. Outrun. What's that on, Retro Master? Oh, Sega Master System, okay. Well, I'm just looking down the list. A racing game. Didn't I play that, Alex Kidd? Outrun 3D. It's interesting. I'll have to look at that. Didn't I play it? But I've already played it, and I. Um, Sega Saturn. Why is this working? Oh, Sega Saturn. I do have, but I have a lot of problems loading games with it. But. And I don't have an N64 emulator just of yet. Right, let's just choose it. Mm. Why can't I go? Why not going? Oh, it's the wrong button. Game Boy emulator. I don't want to play Game Boys. I don't want I don't want to um, do any reviews on any handheld consoles because I never liked them. I've never liked handheld consoles. Oh, that's a change gear. And when you put them on a computer, they look shit because they pixelize. So Game Boy, I'm just not interested in. But have I played it? Have I played Alex Kidd? It sounds like one I've already played. I mean, if I haven't, I'll play it. That's alright, mate. Alright, we'll play it. We'll play it next. I'll play it next, um, Nicholas. Ah, shit. Oh right, I played it on the NES, didn't I? Alright, I'll check out the Master System version. Oh, I'll have to, I might have to have a look at the N64. 
It's a system I've never owned, so I don't know anything about it. None of my mates owned uh, N64, so I really have no knowledge of the N64 whatsoever. Ah, oh, well, I didn't do very well there. Let's have another try. You know, this is one of my favourite arcade games. Well, arc on the arcade. You get all free music, okay. I do like the... Um... How can I play Super Mario 64 if I haven't got an emulator? I haven't got an N64 emulator. Okay, I've never, the thing is, I've never ever played on an N64. I would like to, but if, as I said, it's, if it's going to be any like anything like the Sega Saturn, and it's going to be a lot of fucking about, I don't want to know. I, I do plan on getting a PlayStation emulator, but what puts me off if it's going to be like the bloody Sega Saturn and a lot of pissing about, because I can't get half the games to work on the Sega Saturn. I'll try it when I get time when I get Charles to, but I ain't trying it yet. I'm not fucking I'm not in the mood to fuck about. I'm not in the mood. If there's a lot of fucking about, I'm not gonna bother. Uh what do you mean like gaming requests? Or requests on the stream? Okay, we played that. Let's play. You want me? You still want me to play Alice Kid on the on the what you call it? I'll do that because you did say Alex Kid in Miracle World. Yeah, yeah. I'm still. I still. Do requests, yeah, yeah, it's on the master system, yeah. Oh, this is great, isn't it? And, uh... Have you ever thought about starting a channel, Nicholas? You have got a channel, haven't you? No, you ain't, have you? So we can you can play games as well. I can give you requests. <laughs> ah shit. Well that was a quick go, wasn't it? Let's have another go. Kid Camelon on the Mega Drive yet. I don't think I had a 
Um, do you want me to play that next? Because I don't think we've got any more requests. I can play it next if you want. Unless anyone else has got any requests, which I've missed. That's alright mate, no problem. Nicholas, let everyone else have a chance first. I keep telling you that. Stop shouting out games, give everyone else a chance. I've had enough of this game already. <laughs> Not very good, to be honest with you. Ah, oh, fuck it. On the Mega Drive. Let's try... Oh, okay, let's try... Oh, shit. Let's try... What's it called? Kid Chameleon. Kid Chameleon, there it is. Oh! Never played this. Kid Chameleon, so start options, start options. Two players, one control. So, okay. Start one player. It's interesting. Chat ain't froze up, is it? Fuck. All right, no. Okay, good, good. All right, the chat's still working. Good. Harry Enfield, yes. I have watched Harry Enfield, pretty good. I haven't watched it for a long time now. Right, how the fuck do you... so you, Hang on, so you can't get up there. So you, so you can't, oh, right, okay. I did prefer Harry, M, Harry Enfield's television programme, the first one he did. I did. Oh, wow. Oh, I haven't watched that yet. I've totally forgot. Oh. It's buffeting. Oh, I don't know. Ah, wow. I have no idea the reason why it's buffeting. Unfortunately, when I was a kid, yes, I did used to watch Sesame Street. Oh, no, what? I can't get over that fucking thing. Now 
No, that was shit. Muppet Babies was shit. What's going on here? I didn't think that was owned by Disney. Maybe the cartoons were, but never knew that. Jim Henson. Explains why they have sh why Muppet Babies are shit then because it's in Disney. <laughs> yeah, you made the, the Muppets, yeah. And Sesame Street and all the puppets. Yeah, obviously. Yep, yeah, and Fraggle Rock. The Fraggle Rock. Oh, fuck off. Uh, I remember Super Ted. Yes, I did watch. Sometimes I used to watch Super Ted. I remember that. Come on, what can I get up there? Can't even get up there. Stupid. He hasn't got enough jump. Or do I supposed to use those blocks? That's stupid. Hold down A. Alright. Alright, let's try that again. No, it's not working. Uh, A. Hang on. Okay, a run up. Oh, oh now we're we'll gonna start all the way from the beginning. That takes the piss. So you jump jump quite oh fuck, no you don't. Oh fuck this. Alright, run up. Right, that's how you run up. Push A. Nice. Alright, okay. Oh no, now we've got a breakthrough here. Alright, let's try that again then. Need a run up. Right. Alright. Go! There we go, well done, thanks. Ah, oh, fuck it. Uh, I won't continue no more with that. Um, yeah. That's an alright game, that. Um, besides Nicholas, or whoever's, anyone else? Did anyone else request any games and I've forgotten? Save at one to eight K. I'm trying. I'm, I'm. Hello, Maltese. Samantha Fox strip poker. Unfortunately, I can't play poker. of 1 to 8k. Is that on the spectrum I'm taking it?
Bro, it's getting moon, bro. It seems to be getting moon, bro. Oh, and the arm stride. Okay. I'll have a look at that then. I think what it is, the sun is getting to the front now, where it starts off at the back, so it's nice and cool. Now the sun's coming to the front. Now it's starting to get warmer. No, I don't think we're going to have time now. Because I'm starting the quizzes at 8 o'clock. Because I'm gasping for a drink. So we ain't going to have, we ain't going to have time really to... One hot day, everyone moaning. <laughs> I, oh, what the fuck's happened? Oh, okay, run sober. Right, let's see if this works. Oh, looks interesting. Instructions, joystick, right. extended on or off, what's that, stage one, well it looks pretty good, what have we got here, can I, <laughs> just shoot them up, looks pretty good, Two pints of love and a packet of crisps. Yes. I didn't really like it that much. Do you know what, fans? Man, this is pretty good. Let's have another go at that. What's to get what's this? Ah, oh, what is it called? Um Phantom Star Saber, that's it. Might have to do a review on this one. Pretty good. If you like your Amstrad, definitely would recommend playing this. It's pretty good. Ooh. Certainly better than Zynaps. <laughs> oh, the boss. Is that a boss? Oh, shit. Come on. Actually, I find this better than our type. It's easier. <laughs> One more go. One more go. Ah, shit, I think you get that. Gradius. Um, I have been told to play the Spectrum version. 
of Zynax. And I'm going to be doing a, I will be doing a review on that, the Spectrum version. That's a good game. That is a good game. I'm gonna have to do a review on that because that is pretty good. Um, right, who wants to request the last game of the gaming stream before I go over to the quizzes? Because I'm gasping for a beer now. <laughs> <laughs> That's alright mate, I don't know, but on DVD I really hope they do. I hope they do release a non-edited version of Bonacles and Horses, then I would definitely buy it. I am not buying, if it's, you know, I, I refuse to buy the box set, because it's edited, I am not going to buy it. Because I'm, I'm sorry, but you're not getting what, you're not getting what you want. You're not getting value for money if they edit it, edit it all it out. They shouldn't do that. Thanks, Retro Master. I'm guessing so, Neil. I'm guessing so. Probably because a lot of the music and all has been edited out. Um, probably that's down to copyright. Um, but they are taking. It is stupid why they're taking it out. I'm, I would like. I would like to buy it, but I'm not buying it in that state. I refuse to buy it. Because Only Fools and Horses is one of my favourite comedies. And I refuse to buy something that's completely edited. I think you're better off getting the VHS copies if you can. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. But you're not getting value for money. I think um, the ones online are the DVD copies, so I suppose you can watch them for free, but if you watch them on gold, I think they're unedited. unedited. Yeah, Mar yeah, when I went to Margate, I remember that. Jolly Boys Outing, that's the one. Yeah, that was a good episode, that one. Quite like that. And the coast blows up, that's so funny. <coughs> what? Yeah, because I... That theme park where they went to... Was it known as Ben Bon Brothers? at the time. I was supposed to go there but when I went to Margate but when we went there the, that, that fair was closed, the theme park was closed.
What's that? I'm just going to load it up now. Um, Oh no! My keyboard's... Hang on, why is my keyboard sticking? Oh, here we go. Something went wrong there. That means I don't. Right, okay, sorry about that. Got distracted there. Right, okay. Right, I need to right, swap the disc over. Okay. What's going on here? No, what are we talking about? The coasters of wooden and so on down. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah, it's the second time. Second time it's done that. I don't know why the fuck it's doing that. Anyway, I'll be back in a sec. Here we go.
Oh, yes. Oh, oh that's good. Nice cool beers. Nice cool beers. Right. Oh, Jack, how you doing? No, I didn't go for a shit. Right. Right, okay, well, I'm missing the conversation here. Let's have a look. <laughs> Oops, going on here. He's been brewing for half an hour. What bloody hell! <coughs> right, who wants to who wants to choose a block? And I'm going to get into my beer. Yes. Ah, nice. And C. Okay. Shit, what's going on? C. Alright, so what are we going to start with then? I'm, I'm guessing silver screen. Don't need that anymore. Okay. What film company produced Mary Poppins? That was fucking Disney, weren't it? Where's your beer? Well, it's not here. <laughs> Yeah, well, fucking Disney. <laughs> <coughs> fucking Disney. Free, right? Let's get into the. Let's get nearer to the board. Let's go for silver screen again. Actually, ah, fuck it. Let's go for silver screen again. Who played in Boobita? What? Congratulated director. Mel Fun is in silent movie. What? Congratulated. Dismal. Mel Brooks. Move that there, move that there. So I'm just shuffling something about. Mark Blaster, thanks for coming on, mate. Take care of yourself. Mel Brooks, okay, let's have a look. Mel Brooks, well done, BBB, well done, Klansman. Well done, anybody else that said that. So, we're starting, got a flying start here. Ah, bastard. Oh, ah. Oh, oh no, bastard. Let's go for RPM. <coughs> 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 
What festival provided a 1970 number one for Matthew's Southern Comfort? Festival? 1970s festival. So that's an American. It's got to be in America. Woodstock. I thought that was Woodstock. Hey, Foul Channel, how are you doing? That's all right, mate. You're here now. It's the main thing. We've only basically been well. I've been doing the stream since five past seven, but we've only started playing the quiz, um, Trivial Pursuit. Chalk. I think I've heard of that. Christmas. Price of number nine seventy. Number one. I don't know. It's got Woodstock. Um, all right, say Woodstock. Well done, Clansman. Well done, Neil. I thought Woodstock was sixty nine. Actually, uh, might have been one in Weebly Festival. Uh, uh. <laughs> Let's go for silver screen. What Hitchcock film saw Grace Kelly stabbing her assailant, assailant with her with a pair of knickers, no, scissors? Yeah, I think '69 was the most famous one. For some reason. Vertigo. for murder oh clansman clansman got it clansman got that one just in time I think <coughs> three ah shit oh that's a grey though six fucking hell so we've got red or shitty colour. Won't go into into orange because we'll stay outside the ball if we can. Uh, red is broadcasting shitty colour. All right, DVD. We we'll say shitty colour. <laughs> It doesn't matter because we ain't got no wedges yet. What country surprisingly broadcasted the most television? Television? What? Boasted. What country surprisingly boasted the most televisions in 1968? Booth boast. Didn't we have this question before? USA, it wasn't USA if it was. I would say USA. Let's find out. Soviet Union. Silver screen. Which fuck you, Disney? 
which Disney cartoon featured feature which cartoon Disney cartoon feature was based on a book by Felix Salton <laughs> yeah but I remember when we only had three channels and the fourth channel was tuned into the video <laughs> Well, it was when we had our telly. Our telly only had four channels. First telly I remember. Right, Bambi. Pinocchio. Ooh, one for Bambi, one for Pinocchio. You know, I'm going to. I'm going to be different. I'm going to say Dumbo. So one for Bambi, one for Pinocchio, and I'll say Dumbo. And Clansman was right. Still no bloody wedge. Oh, come on. All right, let's go for RPM. I don't know. Where did Walden throw the party? Jailhouse Rock, wasn't it? County Jail. Elvis, wasn't it? Yeah, count. in the county jail. Yeah, well done, Glasman. It was, wasn't it? So, yeah, we can go for a wedge. It's publishing. What song asked for long distance information in 63? What song asked for long distance? I ain't got a clue. Bloody hell, you're, you're lagging today, Maltese. I can't be asked what. Okay. Memphis, Tennessee. Right, he... Yes, well done, Plansman. That's a wedge. Oh, you bastard. Alright then, we've got news or shitty colour. Orange or shitty colour. Shitty colour DVDs in there. And that's Life and Times. Which year in the 60s? Saw the last official hanging in Britain. Which year in the 60s? 60. That probably was early 60s, I'd say. I'll probably say 61. 65. 68. 64. Alright, oh, David. David Taylor, how you doing? Right, um, so 64. Everyone says so. Everyone's saying something different. 
Yeah. Oh, you know what? I'm going to say 1961 because it was early. 64. It was David who got it right. Well done. Clansman just got in there. Two. Oh, you bastard. All right then, once again, or <laughs> orange or shitty colour. All right, everyone's saying shitty colour. We go with shitty colour. All right, Klansman. Which country? country ejected Rod Stewart from frequency before he took up grave digging. What? Which country ejected? France. Neil says France. David says the USA. Gotta be something like that. China. I'll say I don't know, Canada. I'm gonna be different and say Canada. <laughs> let's, uh, let's find out. Spain. <laughs> Silver screen. Who's a, probably who's the closest? Probably France. That's the closest to Spain, I think. No, someone said the UK. No, no one said the UK. Right. Who portrayed the ugly in the good, the bad, and the ugly? And it wasn't. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. Who likes their westerns? I've never seen this film. Never seen it. Never seen any of them because I just not don't I don't like westerns. I don't think it was Clint Clint Eastwood. John? Nah, he wasn't in it, was he? Alright, welcome back. go with what Klansman says and it's absolutely correct well done why ah go for a wedge red played the part of who? Isla Curry Curry whatever that is Currykin 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 all right mm. 
uh, I ain't got, I ain't got a clue. Is that a Bond girl? <laughs> I don't know. It could be. Who played the part? <laughs> I don't know, this one's a tough one, I think. Let's find it out. I, I don't think no one knows this one, not even I do. David, hold oh, on. Oh, hang on, hang on. Maltese got it right. Maltese got that one right. Well done to you. And that's a wedge. Well, we need to go this way. This silver screen. What film featured the song The Night Before Christmas? Which film? Well you can't beat the can't beat the good films, you can't beat the older films. There's nothing out in the cinema right now that I'll fancy watching. Absolutely nothing. It looks a load of shit. There's no decent actors anymore, actresses. It's just film, the film industry's turned to bollocks. Just like the music industry. out of ideas absolutely correct that's why they are rebooting all these older films well what's your answer the night before Christmas yeah I thought yeah that's what I think help help we need somebody no someone did say the Beatles though No, we got that. We got it. We've already got it. Has to be orange. In which city was the British Embassy burnt down soon after Bloody Sunday? London. No. 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 Fucking London. No. Of course it isn't. Fucking British Embassy on Bloody Sunday. It was Ireland. Uh, which city? Dublin? No, it's Northern Ireland. It would be Northern Ireland, wouldn't it? It wouldn't be Dublin. Well, the thing is, is that I don't think there, is, there ain't no British Embassy in London. <laughs> yeah, but it would be Northern Ireland, wouldn't it? Belfast, yeah, Belfast. Oh, it was Dublin. So, um, Neil Desperandum got that one right. Yeah, I said Dublin, and I thought, hang on, that's in Ireland. It'd be Northern Ireland, wouldn't it? 
No, not what I'm fucking thinking about. No, it's all right. Don't worry about that. I'm going on a funny tangent. So, um, right. So, really, we need to get there. We might need to go for red, I think, because we. Yeah. So broadcasting. What beer did Chaz and Dave rabbit? Ah, oh, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. What was it? John? Was it John Smith's? Which beer did Chaz and Dave rabbit about? Wonder if it was John Smith's. Remember those commercials, the old John Smith commercials. Duff. <laughs> I would honestly say John Smith's. Base bus, nah, good. Skull. <laughs> Shandy Bass. Strongbow? I don't know. No, Cider. I honestly would say John Smith's. Peacock? Let's find out. Courage! Yes, of course it was. Courage Best, yeah. But I thought that was a brewery. Castlemaine. That was the first bought for Castlemaine Forex. That was the first beer I ever drunk in a pub. And I got pissed on it. Oh, we can go for a wedge. Which is RPM. What is written in flowers beneath the group photograph on Sergeant Pepper's album cover? What is written in flowers beneath the group's photograph Sergeant Pepper's album cover? Pepper, Paul is dead. The Beatles, oh, we got it's a wedge, it's a wedge, so we got to be Beatles is right. All right, so so everyone's saying the Beatles, okay, and that is absolutely correct. Well done, Clansman, well done, Neil, well done, Maltese TV. And that's our third wedge we got. Brilliant. Two. Well, right, we need to go this way, so we need to go for shitty colour. <laughs> I bet the heat's keeping it warm. What actor's death did Miss Lee? Miss Leijo, cheer. Oh, that's Japanese, isn't it? Yeah, Miss Leijo, whatever. Grieve on t what? Right, what actor's death did the Japanese person grieve on 20th July 1973? Bruce Lee, yes. Bruce Lee, of course. Well done, DVD. Well done, David. Another wedge, a silver screen. What musical won the Best Picture Oscar in 1966? It's a musical, oh, what? The? It's got to be The Sound of Music. Is it The Sound of Music? Seven Brides or Seven Brothers? 
seven boys with seven brothers. Right, so we're wedge, so we got to be we got to be correct on this one. The lagging. Okay, West Side Story. Who's confident? Maybe that came out. And this has got to be correct because it's for a wedge, so we need to go with an, a specific answer. <laughs> I don't know, we've got some interesting answers. I I was saying um the sound of music. Same with DVD, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, David says. Uh Neil says West Side Story. Mary Poppins, yep. Yeah. Fiddler on the roof, so we've got some. Alright, Sound of Music is 100%. Alright, Maltese, we'll go with you. This is for a wedge. Sound of Music! Yes! Sound of Music! Well done, Maltese, and I even got. I even guessed that one. So that's four wedges we've got. news what did Britain and France announce plans to build its Concord shit fucking hell I've got that I, 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 I'm sorry I'll, I'll, <laughs> I jumped in there too quick Well, David, well, Neil got it right. Neil, uh, I, I got that one. I just jumped the gun on that one. And Neil got the channel tunnel. I think he got that. What did Mummy tell me? What do you mean? What? She's, no, I honestly thought it was Concord. I thought it was Concord. I didn't realise I was planning the Channel Tunnel that early. I thought that was a uh, maybe... Yeah, about jumping it. Yeah, what? I thought I thought it was Concord. Honestly, I'll give, I'll give that one to uh, Neil because he got that one right. I'll give it to Neil because it weren't for a wedge, but I just jumped in, yeah. Because uh, I honestly thought it was Congold. Right, I won't do that again. Oh, we can go for another wedge. It's shitty colour. What was Mike England's league club? What? What was Mike England's league club? Oh, what sport were we even talking about? Something tells me it's cricket. Something just tells me about... Something says cricket. What is... What was Mike England's the club? Who the fuck's Mike England? I bet it's a fucking cricket question. League club. Mike England's league club. I don't know. Sorry, Tottenham Hotspur. It was football.
Right, we didn't get that wedge, but oh, well, let's go for RPM. Who took? Who's sorry now to number one? Connie Francis, Connie Francis, right, that David says, Klansman says, and it's absolutely correct, well done, and so does Maltese. Six, shit, uh, let's go for publishing. What is the colour of Superman's belt? Yellow in it. Is it yellow? Yeah, David seems to agree. I'm sure it is yellow. Yep. Well done, David. Well done, Maltese. Ah, shitty colour. Wedge again. Which fashion celebrity opened Britain's first clothes boutique? Mary Quant. It's for a wedge, so we got to be correct. Two for Mary. Two for Mary Quant, I'm guessing. Jimmy Savile. <laughs> right, let's say Mary Quant then. And it's absolutely correct. Well done. Well done. David and well done, Maltese. That's another wedge. You're doing well. Oh, just the orange to go. One or oh, blue. Which which in which decade was this song published? Sixties? Under the ball was that the fifties then? Sixties or fifties? Nah, I won't. was it a s nah? Under the boardwalk. It was done by the drifters, weren't it? Under the boardwalk. I would say the fifties. But then again, it could be the 60s, it's either the 50s or the 60s, so... I don't think it's the Bruce Willis version. Alright, it's either 50s or 60s. It was the 50s. I thought it might be, I thought it might be, so... David got that one right. Um, Right, okay, we yeah, went for a wedge, so Oh come on. Oh is it it's either silver screen or RPM it's two sub our two favourite subjects. 
who's going to pick RPM Klansman's got in there Rhythm and Blues This is an R&B song What are R&B? It's Rhythm and Blues Not like the shit we got nowadays Apparently it's supposed to stand for Rhythm and Bass Which is absolutely shit Oh come on so would you want to go for red or shitty colour? I know my computer's running cool because I've got a nice big cooler on my computer. I've got a nice big fan, so my computer's alright. <laughs> right, shitty colour. I haven't got water cooled, nothing like that. Which folk singer played, what, hang on, played to an audience of 53 people at Carnegie Hall in 61? Joan Beers. Bob Dylan or Joan Bees, right, let's have a new let's find out. Bob Dylan. Yep, Clansman got that one right. Oh, Ooh, orange wedge. News. Which country beat the USA by one point in the Olympic final in 1972? Probably the Soviet Union. It's for wedge, remember, for the wedge. Which country beat the USA? But I don't know what this X, Y, and Z means. Don't know what that's all about. Unless it's just oh, is it shot put? China. Oh, I think that looks more. I don't know. I could be shot put. Looking at the the way it is. So we've got one for US, well we've got well Neil and ISA and David because Russia was part of the USSR. So we're going to say the Soviet Union or the USSR, same thing, higher jump. Yes! So well done whoever says USSR, Soviet Union. That's all the wedges. Right, let's go. Actually, let's go for another turn. So we need to get to the middle. So after, let's go for RPM.
Who sang the 73 hit? You are the sunshine of my life. Ah, I know the two. You are the sunshine of my life. Remember Red Dwarf? What the fuck? I'm going to have to open my window. Well, it's bloody hot in here. I ain't opening my window because then I'll, get, I'll probably get all the flies coming in. It's certainly getting hotter. Stevie Sun. Stevie Sun. Stevie. Right. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Right. Say Stevie Wonder. And it's absolutely correct. So well done, Maltese. And well done, Neil. And well done, Transman. It is kicking the out the back, yeah, that's true. Bloody hell. I don't know. I think my computer is so well. Computer's not bad. Computer's, you know, this obviously ain't um, taxing the computer a lot, so it's just a little bit of warm air coming out of it. It's not nothing that bad. I think it's running idle because it's not really using up much power. Right, what, what, what's, what's happening? Ah! Oh. Right, what subject we're going for? You're burning up. Oh, I've still got this. No, I've got this nice fan right here. <laughs> it's not too bad, but it's definitely getting warmer. I can still definitely feel it, but I'm not opening my window. Fucking multi saying shitty colour, he's in there first. He's in there first. Of which country was Mike Beardsley Beard Beard Beardsley Beardley the captain when he captain England? So I'm take i bet this is a cricket question. I bet it's a which, on which country? Captain. I think it's a cat. I think it's a bloody cricket question. Mine's running at thirty-four. I've got a fan on mine. My my CPU's running about thirty-four. But then I've got a I've got a bloody quite a big case with lots of big fans in it and a massive heat sink with two massive fans on it but then again I am running a i7 Yeah, that's a good idea actually, leaving the sides off. Might as well just stick your motherboard on the wall. <laughs> and running your computer off the wall or something. So it gets all the air into it then.
Morty says Australia. Oh, those fucking things are bastards, them AMD FX. I've had my two previous computers were AMD FX fucking hell. They demand fucking power. That's why I didn't want to go with another AMD FX. I went with Intel next, because them things are fuckers. Australia. Middlesex. Oh, we didn't get that one. Alright, pick a, pick a subject. A 10.50, yeah I'm running a 10.80. That's been running well, that's not too bad. Um, did you say country or county? Right, Multi says shitty. He's in there quickly. Right, well, let's go for shitty. How old was Evanine Gullicolon? What? When she first won Wimbledon. Oh, Evanine Gullicolon. Yeah, Gullicolon. How old was Evan? I would say 16. Evelyn Gulligan, when she first won Wimbledon. Yeah, I've heard of that name. It was actually mentioned in Only Fools and Horses. So I say 16, David says 17, Morty's saying 18, 19, <laughs> God's sake. Right, let's go for a grey and see what happens. Alright, what we're gonna do oh, we go for is what inside the silver screen. Whose second movie was Loving You in fifty seven? Loving You Okay. Oh what's what? Sound issues. Elvis, of course it was. Yeah, of course it was, Gladsman. Yeah, of course it was. Ah, no point going out. Nah, do what do you want to go for? I'll let you choose. <laughs> Roland on the ropes, 60 French per second. So what do you want to go for? I'll let you choose.
<laughs> right, I'll just choose something. Uh, let's go for let's go for RPM. This French female singer, born Edith Grenet, Edith Giona, Giona, yeah, whatever, is better known as Edith Peff. Let's find out. Well done, clansman. RPM. I'll just check DVD ain't gone. I wonder why it was a bit quiet. He ain't here no more because he's usually first with the subjects. That's Beba Balula, ain't it? Did Gene Vincent sell this song for 25? 250 or $2,500 20 says 20 it's not there it's 20. 25 25 250 or 2 uh, it could be $25 Let's find out. And it's correct. Well done, Maltese. And well done, Neil. Well done, Neil. Yeah, okay. Right. Let's try and get to. Oh! We can do it. Choose the subject. First one to come up with, we'll go with the subject. This is for the game. Multi says shitty. Oh, that's that's life and times. So this is for the game. What superstar owned a restaurant in California called the Hogs the Hogs Breath Inn? The Hogs Breath Inn. I ain't got a clue. <laughs> Clint Eastwood. Morty says Clint Eastwood. Are you confident? Me. This is for the game, remember? Clint Eastwood could be. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Let's find out, shall we? I don't know if anyone else is going to answer. Is Clint Eastwood the right answer? It is! It's for the game, yes! Always have to do that little dance at the end. <laughs> well 
Well done everyone, well done. And you know what that means. Hello Jason, you, we just won the game mate. But no we need to worry, because now we're going to play. Oh what the fuck, it's crashed. Oh no it ain't. Now I'll continue. We must have been playing this for at least two months now. <laughs> right, okay. Now I've got to remember. Pause in later. Right, so what do you want to do? Show business, music, sport, trivia. Trivia says Neil. Right, we go with trivia. Oh shit, what's the button? What is the capital of Colombia? Nicholas, whatever that. How the fuck can Colombia be the capital of Colombia? Nicholas, yeah, that fucking A, I can't even pronounce. Nicholas Sayer, Colombia, or Bob. Good Bogota. So C C C right C then. Well done. Music or show business, that's all we can go for. I think we might have had a lot of these questions before. Right, multi says music. Who recorded the album called So, Ultravox, Peter Gabriel or Phil Collins? Jason says B. Looks like B could be it. And uh, Multi says B as well, so we go with B. Absolutely correct, well done. Oop, I don't need to pause it, why did I do that? I have to go with Sport. With which sport do you associate David Vine? Skiing, both? Or show jumping. Both. Both. What the fuck's both? Hello? Is anyone still there? <laughs> it's gone quiet. Hello? <laughs> My chat gone fucking funny.
Right, there's a problem. Something's gone wrong with my chat. I can barely make out what it says in the actual thing, but my actual chat's gone fucking funny. Shit. Because I can't see what's going on in the fucking window. I can see the chat working, but it's not working in this. Fucking hell. Hang on a minute, I've got a technical issue. Alright, I think I've sorted it. Right, C is froze. Right, C, right, okay, I think I've got it. Yep, yeah, right, okay, we're back to normal now. Sorted the problem. Oh, it's wrong! It's got C! Yes, I'm using Windows. Right. I don't know, something glitched up there with my chat. I can see the chat was working in my OBS, but the problem is the OBS is so small I can't even see it. So, YouTube's fucking up. Right, hopefully it's okay now. Right, okay. Let's get back to it. Trivia, show business, or tri well, <coughs> excuse, excuse me. So we only got trivia or show business. Sorry, I had problems with the chat there, so a lot. So I do apologise for that. Right, show business. Who starred in the film Wall Street? Kevin Klein or Michael Douglas? Oh, Joker. Right, show, show business has to be. This tape will self-destruct in five minutes come from what? It was missing it all. This tape will self-destruct. No, it wasn't five minutes, was it? It was... Oh, no, it didn't... No. This tape was in five seconds. It wasn't five minutes, it was five seconds. Mission Impossible. It's correct, but it's five seconds. It weren't five minutes. Right, trivia or show business? It was five minutes. I thought it was five fucking seconds. It's five seconds. Why are you fucking what? Why would you wait five fucking minutes for something to blow up? Unless it's a London bus. Cock up. <laughs> show business, Maltesis, show business, okay. What is Barnley Barn Barnley Barnley's wife called in the Flintstone? Barney in what is Barney's wife? Called him this Betty, isn't it? No, it weren't. It was Betty, weren't it? No, it was Belma. It was Betty. Yeah, it was Betty. It was Bel Bet Betty Rubble. Of course, it was. Oh, 
Oh, for the star card. What is the tallest building in the United States of the World Trade? No, well, they don't exist anymore. Sears building or the Empire State? It's the it's, it's C. I'm sure we had this one before. It's the Empire State building. No! I thought it was C. Shit. Fucking hell, we're making mistakes tonight. Right, we're going to go trivia, show business, sports. Trivia, show businesses, or sports. Sports is Jason. Okay, we go with sports. Uh. Which golf tournament is always played in Augusta? US Masters, Japanese Open, US Open. I ain't got a clue about why right, it's the US Masters. Oh, 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 oh no, C. US Open. Is it the US Open? Jason says 100%, or if it's 100%, that's what we go with. Great, well done. Well, Joker, obviously. Sport or trivia? Sporting these clansmen. When did Steve Davis win his first world snooker title? 77, 79 or 81? I would say 81. Right, two says 81. Yes, it was 81. A lot of us knew that. Well, I didn't, but that's the music. Who used to be Cher singing part? That was Sonny, wasn't it? Sonny and, Sh Sonny and Cher. Right, start question. In what city is the largest place? Palace. In what city is the largest palace? London, Paris or Peking? London. Oh, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, so what are we saying here? London, Paris or Peking? <laughs> I 
I would probably say London. <laughs> but then again, it could be Peking. I probably would edge towards Peking. Whoa. Shall I go for a gut feeling? I'll go for a gut feeling. If I'm wrong, then you can all blame me. It's right! <laughs> I got it, it was peaking. I went for my gut feeling, it was right. Alright, so we can go for a joker immediately. Well done, Maltese. Alright, we've got to go for show business. Who hosted the media show? Selena Scott, Muriel, Muriel, Muriel Gray, or Sue Lawley? The media show. Selena Scott. <laughs> oh, two for A. Well, I think it could be A then. No, it wasn't. Trivia. El Al is a national airline of which country? Libya, Egypt or Israel? Maybe it says Israel, which is C. Right, we'll go with Israel then. Okay. Well done. Music. Who, so, who sings with the plastic? Ah, oh, that's Yaz. Start a question. What Fahrenheit temperature corresponds with zero degrees Celsius? We had this before. 34, 32 of 30. 32 says Klansman. Straight in there, I think he could be right. And it's correct, well done Klansman. trivia music Klasman right in there okay what American singer real name is Vincent Vincent Fernia Meatloaf Bon Jovi Alice Cooper See, a thousand percent is Sir Alice Cooper. 
Right, add a scooper. Correct, well done. I never knew that. Right, star question again. Bloody hell, we got there quick. What is the most abundant chemical in the Earth's crust? Hydrogen, oxygen or carbon? Oh, sorry about that. Right, okay. Right, um what we what we saying? See it guess hydrogen, right, hydrogen it's gonna be. No! to be sports. With which sport do you associate Ted Eager, Edgar, Edgar, Ted Edgar, tennis, hockey or show jumping? I don't have a clue. Oh, so we got a C and a B. Yeah, might be a game problem. Might be a game problem, right? Ninety nine percent C, right? We'll say C, and it's correct. Right, has to be trivia. Which element is also called wolfram? Zinc, Tuscan, or carbon? Tungsten, I should say. Tungsten. B, B, right. Tungsten. Okay, we'll go with Tungsten. And it's correct. Well done. Music. Who recorded the hit album? Who recorded the hit album? Son of the Times, the UB40, Prince, or Maya Carey? Maya Carey, right? Prince, okay. We'll go with Prince. And it's correct, well done. Star question. Which mineral is a diamond made of car carbon, silicon, or prose? Yeah, that C. Right, everyone says A. Right, we go with A. And it's correct. Well done. Right, 
Right, music or sport? I think it's getting dark now, let's turn on the light. Oh, more tea's got in there quick. Got in there first. Right, so it's going to be music. Who recorded the album 12 Gold Bars? Status Quo, Status Quo, John Bon Jovi, or Meatloaf? Status quo. And it's correct. Well done. Trivia or show business? Morty says show business. Relation is Scrappy Doo to Scooby Doo. It's nephew, isn't it? Is it nephew, cousin, or brother? A brother. Right, nephew is nephew, isn't it? Yes. Well done. Or it has to be trivia. Who is the biggest supplier of food each day? US Army, Wimpy. <laughs> it's got to be McDonald's, in it. It's got to be McDonald's. Bloody hell, Wimpy. Who remembers Wimpy? Probably going to be US Army, I bet you. Oh, I remember Wimpy. It certainly isn't Wimpy. It's certainly definitely not Wimpy. It's McDonald's, isn't it? Got a bit of uh, the US Army. Yeah, it's either A or C. Right, Morty says C, right. We'll go with, right, what are we going to go with here? We need to go for an answer. We will we say C? Because if we know, if it isn't C, it's A. Alright, what what is Maltese is C. The same McDonald's. Alright, we go with C. Okay. And it's correct, well done. The start of Delhi is the world's largest what? World world's largest what? Ruby, diamond, or emerald? Diamond. Jason says 
Oh, we got one for B, one for A. So. So we got ruby or diamond. I don't have a gut feeling on this because I don't know. <laughs> I will probably go for a gut feeling with A. Because you got to remember, Delhi diamonds are not really big in Delhi, I don't think. I probably would say a ruby. But I could be totally wrong because everyone's saying diamonds. <laughs> it looks like it could be a diamond. Alright, that's what we're going, Maltese. We'll go with diamond. And it's wrong! I probably would have said a ruby. I probably would have said a ruby. Okay, never mind. Sport, music, or trivia. Jason's in there with sport. Who won the British Golf Open in 1986? Bill Rogers, Greg Norman or Sandy Lyle? Don't know anything about golf. But if I was going to say something, it would probably be Sandy Lyle. Right, we'll say Sandy Lyle then. And it's wrong! Oh, we can try again. Oh, shit, 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 shit. We can try A or B. We've got another chance. We've got another chance. It's not Sandy Lyle. Bill Rogers or Greg Norman? Right, we say B. It looks like... Right, so it looks like we could be saying B. Right, we say B if I've got enough time to get it over. And it's correct. Well done. We got out of that one. We got out of that. Well done. Right, trivial or music? Right, music it is. Who wrote the hit Sound of Silence? Simon and Garfunkel, Otis Redding, or Lennon and McCartney? Right, Simon and Garfunkel. Right, that's what we're going for. Absolutely correct, well done. Sport or trivia? Yes, I'm going to do um, Zynax on the Specky, also the Amiga. Might do the Amiga version first, because I'm, a I'm hearing so good things about the Spectrum version. Right, TR was his trivia. What is the national airline of Russia? It's A. It's A. I think it's A. Aeroflot. Lufthansa is... Olympic. It's not Olympic. It's Aeroflot. I'll say Aeroflot. It's like the majority is agreeing. And it's correct. Well done. Has to be music. 
which of the following is not a Queen album? I don't know, I should know this, but I don't know. It's definitely not C. It's definitely not C. Europe, I say Europe. I think it's Europe. Let's go with A. That's right, A hey, fuck. Right, this is a star. How many crowns are there on the Barclays Bank symbol? Five, three or four? I don't know, I don't bank with Barclays. So anyone with a Barclays card, take a look at it. So we're saying C. <laughs> I was with TSB, then I was with Lloyd's TSB, and now I'm with Lloyd's. Should we go for a guess? Uh, four? I don't know. Hmm. No googling. <laughs> um, I have no idea myself. Let's say it's I'll go for a gut feeling. I'll go for a gut feeling and say A. And it's wrong. Blame me for the mistake. Right, show business, music or sport? Or trivia? Music says Glansman. First one in there. Who recorded? Oh, it should be 40. Music or show business? Music says Maltese. Who recorded the album The Seer? Lloyd Cole, Malcolm McLaren, or Big Country? I ain't got a clue. Country, says Clansman. I don't know. Clansman seems to have the one of the best. You know, I don't know if he's lagging that badly. And it's correct. Well done. All right, sport or music? I think Clansman's got one of the best in the It's always up there. Seems to be. 
Right, Maltese's music. Shit. What is a UB40? Uh, we know it's a form. Well, it was. It was. I don't use the UB40 no more. It's when you go to the Dole office. Right. Sports, it has to be. When was the first cross channel swim? 1919, 1875 or 1934? I don't know. Jason says B, 1875. Could be impossible. Alright. Is anyone going to say an answer or are we going to go with B? Right, we'll go with B, we'll go with Jason's answer. Which is correct. Well done. All we Maltese agreed. Start, start question. How many... What? Permanent teeth should an adult have how many permanent how many permanent teeth should an adult have 28 30 or 32 i don't know i can't be bothered to count right it's 32 so plasma's guessing right and it's correct, well done, we got there just in time. Right, music, mu music, trivia or show business. Or tr yeah, music, trivia or show business. He says music. Which ex Beatles set up the band with oh, it's Paul McCartney? Sports or trivia? Trivia says Maltese, okay. How many bones are there in the human body? 206, 198 or 228? He says 206. Um, all right, we'll go with Maltese. I don't know. Ain't that. Right, we'll go with A. And it's correct. Well done. Right, we'll go with the Joker. Got to go with music. Which of the following is not a Spandle Ballet album? Banshee. Through the barricades or true? Uh, it's not C. 
I don't know. Hello, Classics, how you doing? I was in the Travel Lodge. Nothing wrong with Travel Lodge. Hey, Banshee. Okay, I'm going to say Banshee. Correct, well done. Star question. Which city was famous for Duke Jam and journalism? Dundee, Newcastle or Cardiff? That's all. Whereabouts are you then? Whereabouts are, where have we travelled to? Yeah, I wasn't even sure if I was going to be on tonight. I wasn't sure. Been, been a bloody hot day. Dundee? Dundee? Alright, so two for Dundee. Right, we'll go for Dundee then. Well done! I'm just going somewhere, just for a quick one. Right, has to be show business. Right, I'll, I'll, I'll put the question up. Oh, fuck off, we all know that. Right. Trivia, let's hope. Be a little bit more challenging, hopefully. In, oh my God, I paused it. In which city would you visit the left bank? Paris, London, or or Berlin? Well, I'm going for a piss on that one. Okay. Right, left bank, everyone saying Paris. Hmm. Lindhurst, what is that? Right, we'll say Paris then. Correct. to be music. Who recorded Express Yourself? That was Madonna. Right, 
Right, star question. Which river flows into the North Sea at Cuxhaven? Elbe, Thames, Tweed. Certainly isn't the Thames. I don't know, even my own chat fucked up, so I don't know what's going on. Neil says the tweed, maybe. But how I reset that, it was changing that back from live to the top chat, then back to live again. That's how I resetted my own chat. That's never happened before. Cuxhaven. Which river flows into the North Sea? It ain't the Thames, it can't be. Thames in London. So Morty saying the B, the Thames, surely. The Elbe. It's not B, surely not C either. C, oh, what are we going with? We, what are we going with here? Bloody hell, we're... This one's a dispute. I don't know. Yeah, but the, the thing is, the Thames is nowhere near the North Sea. North Sea's up Scotland. And then Cuxhaven. Right, who's got the next one that comes up with the answer? That's what we go with. I haven't got a gut feeling on this one. If it's the Thames, and I will be surprised. But I'm curious to find out. Right, B, we'll go with the Thames. We'll go with the Thames. It's not the Thames! I didn't think it was the Thames. It's too far down. Sport, music, or trivia? Cuxhaven, I don't even know. Cuxhaven's probably up north. See, I live down south, so I don't know what's up north. <laughs> trivia, okay. What is a halot? A surf, a boat, or weapon?
Okay. I wouldn't have a clue, but I'll take your word on that. What was a harot? Weapon? Sorry about that. A, a surf. Right, people are saying A. Right, we go with a, a surf. Correct, well done. Okay. Right, so it's the old. Right, all right, we've got to go with trivia. In which state is the town of Corpus, Corpus Christi? In which state is the town of Corpus Christi? Texas, Florida, or Maine? I don't know. Probably Texas. Neil Desperons says Texas, we'll go with Texas. Texas is correct, well done everyone. Right, go with Joker. That's the music. Who recorded the hit album? Zenyata Modata. ZZ Top, Prince or the Police? Yeah, I've got a gut feeling it's the Police. We'll go with C. We'll see. Correct. Well done, everyone. Start question. In which year did Canada become self governing? 31, 12, or 43? Hello Stefano, how are you doing? So you're saying A, okay. See for shits and giggles. Whoa. Why are you bored? So we're saying A or C.
Yeah, the heat. We're all complaining about the heat. It's too hot. For an Italian, I thought you'd be used to the heat. What were we going to say? 31. I probably would say B. But we'll go with Stefano. I don't know. What, what are we going to go with? What, who seems confident? Why's my chat fucked up again? No, it hasn't. Yeah, I was going to say, say something to someone, because uh, my, I always worry, because I always keep thinking my chat is freezing up. It's not. Well done, Clansman. Just getting in there. <laughs> right, we'll go with B. We'll go with B. But then again, who's confident? Who's confident? Right, two for A. Two for A. Stefano says A, right, we'll say A, because it's two for A, it's two for A, we'll go with A, and it's correct, well done. Again. Oh, Joker again. All right, musical showbiz. No, musical trivia, rather. Jesus music. Who recorded the album? A kind of oh, fucking we all know this. It's Queen, of course. Star question. CT is the post code of which town? Bristol. Chelms, Chel, Chelton, oh, Canterbury, Bristol, Cheltenham, or Canterbury. So Dave's saying, saying C, Canterbury. <laughs> Alright, we'll say Canterbury. And it's correct, well done. Music or trivia or show business? Morty says music.
which of the following is not a U2 U2 which is the following is not a U2 album just first tree August or unforgettable fire I don't know Multi says B, August. Right, B, we're going for B. Correct, well done. That's to be music. Who wrote the hit, Walk on the Wild Side? It was Lou Reed, wasn't it? I'm sure it was Lou Reed. But I want double confirmation on that. Yep. Yep, I've got conf yep, confirmation on that. It's Lou Reed. Joker. Joker again. Star question. What is the marshland marshland? in Florida called it's the Everglades. I'm oh, fucking hell I, I didn't do that shit That was my stupid fault that was it was the Everglades. I'm fucking I pushed the wrong button by mistake. Okay, music or sport. Maybe it's a sport. That's the first answer. How many medals did Mark Spitz win in the 72 Olympics? Five, three, or seven. David says five. Asman says think seven. Ooh. So is it five or seven? Oh we got four whoa. Got A, B or C here. Clansman says it's seven. Hello, welcome back, Error. How you doing? Pete? What is Pete? Alright, we'll go with seven. Correct, well done. Alright, we'll go with Joker. Our question. How many crochets equal a semi breathe? Four, two, or eight? I ain't got a clue. Welcome back, DVD. Right, I right, I ain't got a clue on this question, but it seems like 
Everyone saying A, okay, we'll go with A. And it's correct, well done. Joker. Right, sports or music? Multi says music. Who wrote the classic song, Blowing in the Wind? John Lennon, Bob Dylan or Elvis? Welcome back, Mark. Right, Bob Dylan. Looks like people saying Bob Dylan. That's what we're going to go with. Bob Dylan. And it's correct. Well done. be sports. Who did Liverpool play in the 1988 FA Camp FA Cup final? Barnsley, Norwich or Wimbledon? Maybe it's just Wimbledon. Wimbledon, okay, it's Wimbledon. Correct. No longer exist. Music. Who recorded a hit album Avion? Avalon. Roxy Music, The Communards or Berlin? Classic says, not classics, um, 25 Clansmen says Roxy Music. We'll go with Roxy music. And it's correct. Well done. Poxy music. No, I'm joking. Who designed the first Kodak camera in 1888? Houston, Kodak or Eastman? Well, obviously Kodak, isn't it? All B or C, all hang on. Right, we're going with Eastman then. That's correct, well done. Oh, we've got some jokers, bloody hell, four jokers. Business or trivia? It's getting cooler now. Trivia. Okay. Foul channels is trivia. Black Agnes was the horse of which queen? Queen Anne, Queen Victoria or Mary Queen of Scots? I think we had this question before and I, I think I said saying it was wrong uh, 
Давай. Back in set. What we saying? So we're saying Mary Queen of Scots, I dunno. I don't do recycling. <laughs> Okay, Glansman. A or C. I wouldn't say. I think we. I said A, C before. So I think I said C before, and it wasn't right. It's all bollocks. to say A or C. We've still got plenty of money. Alright, we go with A. No, it's wrong! So music. Music. Who recorded the hit well Vienna? That was Ultravox. <laughs> Sports or show business. Right, DVD says. What kind of creature is Takra? Takra, a lion, a killer whale, or an otter. <laughs> oh, that was saying an otter. And it's correct, well done. Star question. What is the middle of our solar? We, what is in the middle of our solar system? It's a sun.
Right, sport, trivia, or show business. Maybe it's a show business, okay, he's in there. Who has, who has a friend called Jimmy Cricket? Pinocchio, surely. Yes, of course it is. Oh, don't trust Facebook. Musical show business. Bloody DVDs right in there. In what di when what Disney film did Evil Cruella de Vil appear? 101 Dimensions, Snow White, or The Lady of and the Tramp? I ain't got a clue. 101, so we're saying 101. Well done, I didn't even knew that. Never seen the film. Trivia or music? Jesus music who had an it song called coming around again Suzanne Vega Elaine Page or Carly Simon <laughs> Carly Simon says Klansman okay Correct, well done. Show business or sports? Show business is Maltese, okay. What is the name of Knight Rider's guy's kit? Sit, kit or kit, yes, alright, we all knew that. Titania and Arabia, Rubion is moons of which planet? Uranus, Jupiter or Saturn? Exactly, Klasman, exactly. <laughs> Titania, no, Titan. I'm sure Titan was Jupiter's moon. So he's saying Jupiter. Uranus. Oh, we're going to say, I know Titan is on um, Jupiter. It's definitely a Jupiter mark, but it's Titania. Oh, they spelled it wrong, I don't know. What are we going to say? Right, Saturn, all right, we'll go with Saturn. Saturn, 99.999. Oh, bloody hell. Now, oh. Stefano's saying A is either, oh. Foul Channel's saying 99.99%. <laughs> right, we got, oh, fucking 100%%. Right, we're going Uranus. You got the highest percentage rate, right? And you're right there, um, Stefano. It's your anus. <laughs> right, we're going for one more, one more grid, and we'll call it a night. Trivia. 
trivia or show business? Show business says DVD. Which heroic detective does Edward Woodward play? Oh, it's the Equalizer. Trivia. What is attacked by the Colorado beetle? Potatoes, cattle, or elm trees? I don't know. A, A, right, we're going with A. Potatoes. It's correct. Joker, obviously. What has polarized animals? What polarized animal lost? Its legs. Its privates. <laughs> its horns. Right, Holmes, okay, we go with Holmes. Can I get there? Come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I got there. I got there, I pushed the button. Right, we'll go for one more round. We'll go for one more round. I fucking got there. Music. Whose real name is Jasmine Evans, Sonia, Yas or Madonna? <laughs> yeah, we'll get, this is the last round, then I'm going to call it a night. Right, Yas, well obviously Yasmin, yeah. So I'm getting a bit, I can't push my buttons properly. Right, this will be trivia. In which season do, do salmon spawn? Salmon spawn. Salmon. Autumn, spring, or winter? Autumn, David says. Are you a fisherman? I do not have a clue because I'm not a fisherman. Right, Maltese tends to agree. All right, we go with autumn. And it's wrong! Oh, we're under a pound now. Shit. Right, we're going to save it here. That's all right. I don't need to apologise. It's, it's all about having fun. That's what it's about, having fun. So don't worry about it. So we've been playing this game for about a couple of months now. <laughs> it's been fun. Right, guys. It's been another great stream tonight. Thank you for all coming on. Um, next week, once again, should be all right. But I don't, I don't ever, ever know. So. We'll see, we'll see. Should be alright, but it depends. <laughs> you can't see it, you can't see it, it's hiding, it's hiding behind the window. Um, <laughs> I don't know where it is now, I think I've thrown it away. Um, anyway guys, thank you for coming on. I may do some weekly streams and outdoor streams, we'll see. I don't know yet, but maybe a next week's stream, because I can never tell if I'm going to do a stream or not. Um, thank you all for coming on. been brilliant. Thank you. Till next time, and goodbye. <laughs>